John Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you want to call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is going to be going on for some time, but once, I guess you could say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Listen up, folks, because it seems like the bromance between Jay-Z and Diddy has hit rock bottom. And word on the street is Diddy's been singing like a canary and snitching on Jay-Z. These two have been drifting apart for a minute now, and Diddy's feeling some type of way because Jay-Z did him dirty after getting exposed by Cassie and those other women last year. Jay-Z immediately distanced himself from Diddy, leaving Diddy high and dry. Now Diddy's out for blood. He's dead set on getting even and dragging Jay-Z down with him. No hole barred and guess what diddy's threats are hitting jay-z right where it hurts because beyonce's reportedly feeling the heat too rumor has it she's making moves to cut ties and file for divorce all in a bid to shield herself from the fallout she's not about to go down with the ship so buckle up folks because this drama's about to get super crazy this has got to be the worst day of the history jay-z and beyonce are getting a divorce do you hear what i'm saying to you beyonce and jay-z are getting a divorce is she crazy i would never leave that man for no billion dollars i don't give a damn what the hell he did y'all not diddy trying to pull jay-z down and take him out with him unless y'all have somehow been out of the loop with all the tea that has been happening in hollywood in the past couple of months let me loop you in basically diddy has been on the outs after he got exposed by cassie and a couple of other women who accused him of inappropriate behavior well diddy has been on the outs in the industry and nobody wants him around anymore i mean he literally got disinvited from the grammys and that's when i knew that things were messed up because y'all know that the grammys don't like to get involved in an artist's messy activities they're big on separating the art from the artist so when they distanced themselves from Diddy we knew that it was bad bad but while Diddy was upset at being excommunicated from the industry what really hurts is the betrayal of his bestie Jay-Z if you're wondering why Diddy is extra upset at Jay-Z it's that they used to be so tight that they were like brothers it wasn't just your regular Hollywood fake friendship because they were super tight and were like besties in fact Diddy even claimed that Jay-Z and his mom were the only two people in the world who had the free pass to call him by his real name Sean there's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should Outside of family. That should be, no, outside of my mother. Okay, just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. So Diddy was probably thinking Jay Z would have his back during these rough times, but nope. Jay Z pulled a fast one and left Diddy hanging quicker than a blink. Not really shocking though, since Jay Z's kind of known for bailing when things get messy for his pals, especially if it might mess with his own rep. Take the whole R Kelly situation for instance. When R Kelly got caught faking documents to marry Aaliyah when she was still a teen and he was well into his 30s, Jay Z stuck by him. Even when everyone knew about the shady business. Jay-Z stayed tight with R. Kelly. They even did a joint tour together, just like him and Diddy. But the second R. Kelly got hit with those charges and the truth came out to the public, Jay-Z ghosted him like their friendship was never a thing. So Diddy shouldn't have been too surprised when Jay-Z pulled the same move on him. Diddy was big on that whole ride or die thing, but Jay-Z wasn't gonna risk his own neck. Anywho, it's been months since that all went down, but things aren't looking up for Diddy. He's still getting the cold shoulder from everyone. Seems like he's on some kind of take everyone down with me vibe now, because word on the street is he's pointing fingers at Jay-Z. And if that's true, Jay-Z might be next in line for a public scandal. Over the years, whispers have circulated about Jay-Z possibly dabbling in some pretty shady stuff, but nothing concrete has ever stuck to him. Part of it goes back to the old days when the internet wasn't what it is now. There were no camera phones around to capture evidence, making it tough to nail him down. It was basically his word against any accusers, not that anyone really stepped up to speak out anyway. But beyond that, Jay-Z's got some serious smarts when it comes to covering his tracks. According to reports, he's careful not to leave behind any breadcrumbs or loose ends that could come back to bite him. John Carter is worse. Uh -oh. oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This 
been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. As you all know, there's no such thing as a perfect crime, and word on the street is hinting that Diddy might be in the know about something fishy, if you catch my drift. The suspicion started brewing when Jay-Z decided to skip hosting his annual Rock Nation brunch this year. Now, if you're familiar with Jay-Z, you know that he doesn't mess around when it comes to his brunch. It's a major deal. Everyone who's anyone in the industry shows up, and folks practically bend over backward and do everything they can to score an invite. Jay-Z's been throwing this brunch every single year since 2010, rain or shine. The only time it didn't go down was during the pandemic, and well, large gatherings were a no-go anyway. Diddy's been a regular guest at the Bash every single year without fail, part of his bromance with Jay-Z. But for obvious reasons, Jay-Z couldn't extend an invite to Diddy this time around. Fans were on edge, wondering how it would all unfold. Would he take the risk and invite Diddy, or leave him out of the loop entirely? Then out of the blue, Rock Nation drops the bombshell that there would be no brunch this year. This raised some eyebrows because, like I said, the only thing that's ever made them cancel was a full-blown pandemic that had the whole world on pause. Fans immediately started buzzing, trying to figure out why the brunch got axed, and some were even worried that something serious went down with Jay-Z or Beyonce. But the Carters quickly shut down those rumors, saying they were skipping their usual pre-Grammys bash to attend Clive Davis's pre-Grammy gala instead. Their friend John Platt, CEO of Sony Music Publishing, was getting honored with the Grammy Salute to Industry Icons Award, and they wanted to show some love. But here's the thing, something didn't quite add up. Jay-Z was set to receive the Global Icon Award at the Grammys, so Logic would say he'd throw a bash of his own to celebrate, right? And if they were all about supporting John at Clive's gig, they could have easily scheduled their brunch before or after. I mean, it's not like there's a strict date they have to stick to for their event, so what gives? Now, fans are cooking up their own theories. They're convinced the real reason for the cancellation is they didn't want Diddy in the mix. So, they used Clive's party as a convenient excuse and cover-up. Sneaky move, because even if they left Diddy off the guest list, at the Rock Nation brunch, folks would still be talking about the rift and stirring up drama. And if there's one thing Jay-Z and Beyonce can't stand, it's drama. They'll do anything to steer clear of it. So the sudden cancellation raised some serious questions about what they're trying to keep under wraps. This brings us to the supposed juicy gossip Diddy might have on Jay-Z. A while back, there were whispers floating around about Jay-Z allegedly using drugs to keep Beyonce under his thumb. Some folks in the know claimed Jay-Z was allegedly slipping Beyonce some substances to keep Keep her in check. Fans couldn't help but raise eyebrows at Beyonce's behavior, especially when she seemed a bit off whenever she was out in public with Jay-Z. Take that time they were caught on camera at a basketball game. Beyonce was swaying and nodding her head in a way that seemed, well, off. It had fans chattering about how she looked like she was totally out of it, maybe even high as a kite. <laughs> There's also this claim from Beyonce's former bodyguard about how she was in a contract marriage with Jay-Z and that their marriage was as fake as could be and that it was more of a business deal than a love story. Your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. So if it was a business deal as claimed, then it only makes sense that Jay-Z would go above and beyond to protect his interests no matter what it takes. And allegedly, what it took was him allegedly keeping Beyonce drugged up. The bodyguard claimed that Beyonce isn't just standing by Jay-Z because she wants to, but because he's got her on a tight leash, calling the shots and leaving her with no room to choose otherwise. See, probably nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Well, if this tea spilled, it'd be a total game changer and could seriously mess Jay-Z up. Rumor has it that Diddy might have had a hand in it, allegedly helping drug Beyonce. Now let's pump the brakes for a sec. These are just rumors floating around, so take them with a grain of salt. But hey, considering some of the other stuff that's come out about Diddy, it's not totally out there to think he might have been involved. I mean, remember those allegations Cassie made in her lawsuit? And there were a few other women who came forward with similar stories against him. But wait, there's more. Jaguar Wright dropped some hints about Jay-Z and Diddy's relationships, suggesting there might have been some shady business dealings going on between them. You know, camaraderie with honeycombs and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And- um, Why do you give him the honeycombs? Why, why do you give him honeycombs? Cause he smacks so sweet. 
Speaking of Jaguar, has anyone noticed how she has never been sued? I mean, sure, she has been threatened but never sued, and I think that in itself speaks volumes. She also backed up the bodyguard's claims about how Beyonce was allegedly being drugged by Jay-Z. He's a monster. And I'm not only a monster, he is. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a character. I, I, I know, girl. She then compared Beyonce's situation to that of Britney Spears, asking fans to start a free Beyonce campaign because she is a prisoner in her marriage and she is trapped. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh, oh no. If Beyonce is in prison, she's in one of the most expensive prisons ever. Yes, she is and she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself, not at all, not in any way. People think she has an amazing life. She is told what to say, she is told what to eat, she is told what to drink, she is told what to wear. By she, is not, she is not her husband's wife, she is his employee. Fans also noticed something weird at the Grammys last year when Jay-Z offered her a drink and she refused to take it and Jay-Z looked offended. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to hold your Grammy in your hand and celebrate. So yeah, if Diddy were to spill this tea on Jay-Z, well, let's just say that he is going to break the internet. Let's not even get into how Jay-Z has been cheating on Beyonce and how he basically admitted that he cheated on Beyonce and treated her so badly that he broke her spirit. In his song 444, he said, I said, don't embarrass me instead of be mine. That was my proposal for us to go steady. I seen the innocence leave your eyes. I still mourn its death and I apologize to all the women whom I toyed with your emotions because I was emotionless. So the whole alleged manipulation of Beyonce is already pretty grim, but brace yourself, there's more. Word on the street is that Jay-Z might allegedly be a handler for the Hollywood big shots. Yeah, I know, it's a shocker considering Jay-Z and Beyonce are seen as A-listers themselves, wielding a ton of power in the biz. But according to reports, there are folks in Hollywood who hold even more sway than Jay-Z and Beyonce combined. These are the real heavy hitters, and the word is they control celebs by using other top-tier stars as their handlers. Names like Oprah, and Tyler Perry have been tossed around as alleged handlers for these elites. And now, it seems Jay-Z might have been playing this game all along, flying under the radar until now. But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets wild. Jay-Z's supposedly on the verge of being outed, and it's gonna hit him like a ton of bricks. Isn't it kinda suspicious that this bombshell's dropping right after his fallout with Diddy? Well, not really, because reports now have it that Jat Z might be snitching on him. Now, we're still piecing together the puzzle, but from the whispers going around, it's bad like really bad. Rumor has it Beyonce's allegedly planning to cut ties with Jay-Z and make a clean break before his skeletons come crashing out of the closet, potentially dragging her down with him. Then there's also the fact that he cheated on her, even though he apologized in the music. They went to therapy, sorted it out, and he even admitted to feeling guilty about the whole thing, saying, you know, most people walk away and like divorce rate is like 50% or something because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you caused and then have to deal with yourself. But clearly, Jay-Z's infidelity wasn't a one-time slip up. Beyonce dropped some major hints in her song, Plastic on the Sofa, off the Renaissance album, suggesting he cheated on her again. She said, I know know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. We don't need the world's acceptance. They're too hard on me. They're too hard on you, boy. Yet, yeah, despite all of that, she chose to stand by him, or at least she didn't pull the trigger on divorce even though they were living separate lives. It's kind of baffling, right? I mean, she's been through thick and thin with the guy, so it's not a stretch to think she might not want to go down with him now that he's facing some serious heat. And speaking of heat, it seems like the fire's already been ignited. It all started when Jay-Z got called out and dragged through the mud by none other than his former Rock Nation artist artist, singer M.I.A. Back in the day, Mia had a management deal with Rock Nation and dropped a few hits. But then, out of nowhere, she vanished from the scene for years. Well, guess who's back with a vengeance? M.I.A.'s back, and she's spilling all the tea, accusing Jay-Z and Rock Nation of some seriously shady business. Rock Nation's no stranger to controversy, that's for sure. They've been hit with some pretty bizarre allegations, like the whole Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion drama, for example. Tory went on record claiming Rock Nation bent over backward to protect Megan, their own 
own artist. He accused them of pulling some shady moves, like allegedly sweeping evidence under the rug and trying to silence him so he wouldn't spill the beans and make Megan look bad. According to Tori, someone from Rock Nation even slapped him with a gag order, telling him to keep his mouth shut about his messy situation with Megan Thee Stallion. I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. And if that's not wild enough, Tori's dad stepped into the ring with some heavy accusations of his own. He went on a full-on rant outside the courthouse, pointing fingers at Jay-Z and Roc Nation, claiming they meddled with the legal process. According to him, Jay-Z had his hands all over Tori's guilty verdict. You wanna know how I feel? I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I wanna call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, including you, Jay-Z. Yes, yes. You who say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men and you're still doing it. But wait, there's more. Tori's dad also dropped a bombshell about an independent witness named Sean Kelly. He straight up accused Jay-Z of allegedly greasing Kelly's palm, suggesting Kelly's behavior took a nosedive after he had a sit down with some Rock Nation folks. It's like something out of a courtroom drama, but crazier. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met they on Saturday. Met with our Saturday witness. Night. At the time, we all brushed off Tori and his dad's rants as just them being upset over Tori's legal troubles. But now, with everything unfolding, you gotta wonder if they had a point about Jay-Z and Rock Nation pulling some strings behind the scenes. Like they say, hindsight's a trip, right? Cause looking back, it does seem kinda sketchy. And if you thought that drama was water under the bridge, well think again. There's a fresh batch of allegations making the rounds, and they're coming straight from Mia. And let me tell ya, they're downright disturbing. Mia went on a Twitter tirade, dragging Jay-Z through the mud and accused accusing him of teaming up with the Bronfman family to snatch her son away from her. Now, if you're not familiar with the Bronfman crew, they're like the poster children for old money, worth more than $30 billion with a laundry list of scandals trailing behind them. And I'm not talking just your run-of-the-mill scandals either. We're talking cults, trafficking rings, money laundering, the whole nine yards. It's some seriously messy stuff that makes you wonder why Jay-Z's even messing with them in the first place. I mean, seriously, with all the dirt tied to that family, you gotta question what Jay-Z's doing getting mixed up in that mess. In her Twitter rampage, Mia dropped a bombshell accusing Jay-Z of allegedly taking a fat payout from the Bronfmans to help them snatch her kid and keep him away from her. Mia was involved with Benjamin Bronfman for a hot minute. They were even engaged and had a child together. But like many Hollywood romances, things didn't exactly end happily ever after. Their relationship hit the skids after a few years and fizzled out. According to Mia, she has been silent for a while, but she is done being silent. She tweeted, My first custody battle was in 2000. 2013. My child was four. I was managed by Jay-Z, who ultimately was paid by Bronfman's. I sacrificed my career for my child. They ripped me off, copied my style, gave it to their puppets, and shadow banned me on every platform. But it was worth it to save him from the madness of what you know now. And as if that wasn't bad enough, she claimed that Jay-Z completely distanced himself from her after that. She tweeted, The day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communication with me, and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help was wiped from my inbox. My home was broken into and every laptop was taken. I was trapped in Brooklyn on an order served that restricted me from leaving Brooklyn for 15 years. So Mia's rant was like a big old spotlight shining on Jay-Z, sucking up to the Bronfmans of all people. It's like Jaguar Wright called it. Jay-Z's getting exposed and it's happening right before our eyes. And isn't it just crazy how Cassie, once Diddy's artist, spilled the tea on him first and now we're seeing a similar story unfold with Jay-Z. Makes you wonder if there's more to this whole saga than meets the eye. The timing's just too perfect you know, it's got folks raising their eyebrows and connecting the dots. Now, it starts to make sense why there's chatter about Beyonce supposedly pulling the plug with divorce papers. I mean, look at how everyone backed away from Diddy when the heat turned up, even Jay-Z. So if Jay-Z's really in deep water, it makes total sense that Beyonce would want to protect herself and her assets by cutting ties. I mean, if they're already living separate lives, making it official with divorce papers is just
just the next logical step, right? It'd explain why she's making moves to distance herself after years of being ride or die. Now, the word on the street is Diddy's allegedly behind this whole leak, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. He's reportedly fuming at Jay-Z for what he sees as betrayal, and if he's going down, he's taking Jay-Z with him. It's like a soap opera, but real life. Fans left comments saying, let's not paint Beyonce as a victim because she is just as bad as Jay-Z. I called it, I said after the Renaissance tour is done, I think it will be Jay's time to have the elusive mud stick to him. Nobody, regardless of how much Monev and power they hold, nobody should get away with being held to account. I think people will become emboldened to talk about Jay's dirty deeds. And Beyonce is not so innocent. She knew what Jay and P. Diddy were doing and never spoke up. Now she wants to divorce Jay. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is a messy situation, but let me know how you feel about this in the comments and then check out this next video.